instruction plus some practical perspective for those of us indeed who are in need of complete vision correction the only thing that's required is a lens that's genuinely objective and a minute of your time to wrap your mind around divine perception because even the most mindless and spiritually blind can be the spectator in a theater of god's magnificent designs if you would incline your ears and your eyes to these sounds and these signs we would attempt to rightly refine and align your crooked sight but we not imply that a sunset or an ocean can begin to set in mind when the son of man began to set in redemptive motion for morals meaning and devotion heart mind and emotion substance significance and truth cannot be explained or reduced to a big bang explosion because his character and nature cannot be known through natural revelation as shown through random acts of figments of your imagination we the beautiful eulogy attempt to communicate audibly and visually to help you hear and see the glory of god clearly of your love everlasting i start where i finish pick it back up where i left it i'm just a man of unclean lips i've only seen a glimpse but everywhere i look i see his fingerprints all things were made through him we received his revelation so we reflect it when we breathe and the concepts we conceive are born of spiritual seed manifest in a material realm is musical composition the rhythm of heartbeats transformed by the gospel and godly wisdom i'm an instrument of his mercy unworthy but still he uses me the beauty of the eulogy through his death we are truly free free indeed the condemnation and the bondage of our sin was abolished on the cross and he alone accomplished it god made himself known exposing his own nature and his glory through his son the revelation of our savior the fullness of god born in human form deity in the flesh we need a spirit and the word to open our eyes so we can see correct the vital lens, the vital lens. The vital lens. The vital lens. 